Hey everyone, so just wanted to give you a bit of an update here. This is afternoon. This morning, Brian came with the one tractor and loads of dirt. See, here's some of his tracks. And let me show you what he did because this morning I took a video. So this morning, I saw the tractor going and the whole tractor was tipped and then the bale shredder itself was tipped even more because the uh, one side of the wheels were down in a trench and the trench was what a foot and a half deep at least two feet it was quite 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 deep and it, every morning it would kind of there's water here and it just kept coming back down into the trench so every time the tractor went through it would always make it deeper so Ryan came with quite a few loads of soil and he filled that trench. Uh, we're supposed to be getting a bit of rain in the next little while. So for one, to not break any axles or anything on our equipment, he filled this, but also to prevent it from getting even worse yet when more moisture comes. So we're wanting moisture, so that's a good thing. But this is how it looks. This is so much different than it was this morning. Uh, so it tore up a bunch of this area here, but for the most part Brian doesn't drive on that and we will hopefully be able to take a drag and knock that down once it dries up a little bit over there. But as long as the tractor can get through here, then we're pretty good. Right now we're, <laughs> we as in Brian has already been and I'll come and help for a bit. We're going to level this out a bit and that way the tractor can drive on it and the wheels will be fairly level if not a bit higher on this side so quinn's just scooping up the hay he's gonna feed these heifers their evening bit that fell down beside the feeder this morning and then they'll get a new a new um feeding again in the morning but so that's what we're up to right now so yeah, I'll show you the end. Brian's, um, right now Brian is scooping some of the water because every time he drove, the water would go forward and today it didn't really back up. So he's just scooping some of the excess water and dumping it over the fence and watering a few trees over there while we're trying to get this dried up a little bit. So that is what we've been doing. That's not all we've been doing today, but that's, I figured you guys may as well be part of seeing that because you've been part of seeing a bunch of the mud happening. So here we go. wheelbarrow tracks on here at all but it's pretty smooth going here you can see a bunch of the water that's still here but a bunch of it went across see I'm sinking it's quite wet here um, so they filled the tracks all the way up and so the tractor will drive through a little bit here. But it's not going to be sideways like it has been lately. So I'll show you how things look here. And we'll get to enjoy the difference.
rushing water. It's still soft. But he's not sideways. Like this isn't, like look at all the mud that's on, was on the tires there, so. Significantly different. got it into them hopefully it'll start working it it has no um, it keeps throwing a bunch of codes you'll be driving along and it'll like put you down into an idle and so it's like constant like acceleration and deceleration and we changed the I think it's called a resistor and we thought well that might work we're glad it was only 300 and some dollars and we're like oh good that's an easy fix but Apparently it's not that. So it was doing the same thing the next day or the couple days after. So so that was wasted $300 and now it's at the shop and hopefully they can figure it out. But anyway, so regardless, that's why we didn't have enough soil for that part to fix that. But this side is a huge improvement. So peppers are happy. I'm happy because I was not enjoying that big rut there so so it's good now we won't be breaking any axles or anything on our tractor or our shredder so so it's still muddy here but dry getting to be dry muddy so I think I'll come later and I'll use a shovel and try to fill some of those ruts in and try to help get that cleaned up hey guys 